everyone in this series we are going to learn how we are going to draw these structures in maestro environment so you can do it in two ways either use the build option or you can come to the 2d sketcher so let's go to the quick build option first so here i'll click it and we are in a new entry right now so what we will do we will start building it so wherever i'll click that will be the next position of the you know of either the atoms or either the you know the scaffolds i want to add so let's say i want to add another benzene ring so here it has added it and let's say i'll come here and i still want to add it so the three benzene rings have been added so now if i will go to the this option so i'll choose a point let's say i've chosen this and then i'll come to this point and let's say i want to make it sulfur so it has changed the c into s carbon into sulfur and sulfur is always shown in the yellow color so let's say we will come here we are choosing it and we are now using o so oxygen is always seen in red color and hydrogens are always blue so whenever you are looking at some structures here by the color coding you'll always know so hydrogens are blue your oxygens are red and your sulfurs are yellow so now if you wish to increase the charge on the atom you can do so if you want to reduce the charge you can do so so there are things which you can do from here and if you want to add if you want to uh, you know adjust length or the distances of the atom you can click it here and then it will make it happen otherwise if there is no possibility of doing that it won't do that if you want to add some hydrogens at this place you can hit this button and it will add it so if there is a possibility of adding the hydrogen then it is going to add it and then uh, let's say let's come here and let's add one more structure so see it has added one more structure and this is the uh, small preview of what we had created so far so you can uh, see here also what it is creating and these are the other uh, fragments you can add so let's say i'm choosing this point and the fragment i wish to add here is this so see it has added the fragment here let's say i want to add next here so i have added another ring here so here in this preview you can see everything i have built it so far and everything which is being created here is saved as structure number one so if i want to duplicate the entry all i have to do is i'll come here and i'll click this button so it will duplicate the entry so sometimes when uh, we have to start from a single structure and we want to span to other six structures those who are based on the uh, original structure but I'm, I'm talking about analogs here so what you can do is generate the first one and then make the copies and then do the edit in them you don't have to make them by the scratch starting from the scratch so this is how we work with it so now let's go to the other one now if you will go to the edit and will come here it says 3d builder so this is the same place uh, this one like this one so they are talking about the same things so whatever you did there you can did here also you can do here also choose this choose that and this like this so let's say we have this structure and i want to make another structure but i'm only interested in the part of it i do not want to take the take all of the structure with me so what i have to do is i have to select what i want to select and then i have to come to this option i'll click it and then a new entry will be formed which will have only the structure which i'm which i want to take forward and we can do that uh, to the entire structure we can pick and take them to the we can you know uh, choose the fragment and only take the fragment forward and then we can do building here also like that
we have many many options here so if you want to add glucose you can add glucose here if you want to add mannose you can add mannose here so this is the so these are there are many options see you can choose from all these you can have metal ligands also so likewise you can have many many things like i said so once you are done what you are doing cross it let's say i want to take this with me a glucose mannose one so i've chosen and then i'll click this button and only the mannose is here so like i said this option is used to this clipping option is used to just carry forward the structure which we wish to use in the other structure so then we can start building from here so this is how we can use either belt or 2d sketcher both of them do the same thing it's just it is visually more easy to build and here you just have to scroll through the options and in build you have you have very ways more options so my advice is to go to build instead of 2d sketcher in, in case you wish to use many options and if you want to see every option on your screen so the other way to use the maestro software to build a structure here is to go to 2d sketcher it is very easy and everything is colorful here and everything is pretty understandable so let me make that structure again which i was doing so now i have added two benzene rings and now i'm adding the bond between them want to change some atoms you can do that here and here like that and then you have to click save as new structure 3 okay and you will see that structure 3 has been created here and structure 3 has been come has been created here also and here in the preview section you can see it so this is how we use 2d sketcher for the work uh, we want to do so this is how we use uh, build and 2d sketcher i hope you learned uh, i'll come back with some other video